All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to press or iron our chef coat. Now, one of the things that I've noticed with most of the student chef coats is it's never really the front of the coat that becomes wrinkled after laundering. It's usually the back of the coat. And of course, we, when we iron, we want to make sure that we iron all areas of our garment. Now, this is a brand new chef coat. Um, as you can see, it still has the creases in it from the package. So I would highly recommend that before you try to iron anything that you wash it first. And we're going to talk about washing or laundering in another one of the videos. So let's uh, say, for example, this coat has come out of the dryer. And again, we would not want to leave it lay in the dryer. That's going to cause wrinkles. We would not want to cram it into a laundry basket and then take it back to our ironing board. If possible, as soon as it comes out of the dryer, you should go ahead and put it right onto a an, an hanger. So, um, a lot of people have different uh, techniques where they're going to start first on a garment. Uh, for the years that I've been ironing my chef coats, uh, I always start with the collar and the very top of the front of the panel. Then I start on the front panel, and you notice how I'm using the shape of the ironing board to my advantage. There's a, a lot of other good ironing videos out on the web, which you can certainly use those for reference as well. I actually watched one where they used the square end of the ironing board, which I never even thought of doing, and tried that, and it worked very well in in ironing the garment. So what I'm doing is I'm working my way around the garment. I have it set on steam, on linen actually, so that's hotter than cotton. I have the steam setting uh, almost at its higher setting, and you can see that I am getting some steam. I can push my steam button and create a little bit more steam if I need to. And this iron also has a spray. So if I have a real stubborn wrinkle or area, I can give it just a little spray of water and that also helps the garment to iron nice and smooth. So I'm going to continue around the back. And you can see I am moving very quickly, but I'm making sure that the end result is going to be smooth. And it, ironing is definitely a two-handed activity. The other one hand is uh, using the iron and the other hand is smoothing or pulling the garment so that you're not actually ironing wrinkles into your coat. So we want to go right up between each of the buttons. And so we have done the whole body of the coat. We're going to do what's called the yoke. That's the part that's right up on your shoulder. And again, we've got some creases from the package, so maybe just a little bit of water. If your iron does not have a spray uh, attachment, you can use just a little bottle of water, a little mister or spritzer. And if you don't have that, you can just put your fingers in a little bowl of water, cup of water, and literally flick. The idea being that the damp material is going to iron much easier and give you a really nice result. Now you can see that I'm laying the sleeves flat, making sure not to wrinkle what I've already ironed. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. You'll see basically the same technique being used when we iron the dining room uniform or the dining room shirt as well. Now this might be where you would want to use a little bit of spray starch to keep that crease nice and nice and tight on your sleeve, but I probably wouldn't starch the rest of my jacket, um, simply because we're wearing these all day. Sometimes the starch can get a little stiff if you put it on the collar, it might start to irritate your skin. And then once your sleeve is finished, and you check your back nice and smooth. Sometimes you might need to put it back on. And again, as I mentioned, this coat has not been washed yet, so I'm actually very pleased the way it's behaving as far as getting it nice and smooth. 
put it right on your hanger and then always we want to button the top button so it doesn't accidentally fall off of the hanger and there we would we're ready to go.